How do you counter Earthquake, Bloodlust, Hyperion meta? First, you start by banning Rainer. Then you take either Rhaegar or Thrall. Or Diablo. Um, <clears throat> and then you uh, take Falstad to gust away when they press their buttons. You press your button. But the problem is, it's not foolproof. I've, I've had games where I say, when they turn on Bloodlust, I'm going to gust. Bloodlust, gust. And they just... Ring of Frost! It's like, no, no, wait! I'm going to gust first. We reset the fight, so we don't have to fight against people who are twice as fast and twice as strong. Just gust first. My cooldown is half theirs. It's a win-win. Save your ult. They're gonna come back. And then you Ring of Frost. Fight starts. <laughs> gust. Ring of Frost. Like, no, 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 wait. Explain one more time. And that's why Falstaff is not, uh, you know, a fail-safe solution. It's better just to destroy the components of the, of the combo. Uh, how viable is Chen? Uh, I think he's pretty good, CTN. He's a good solo laner. Do you want to get a skin with him? Live a little. Uh, but uh, I can't decide for you how fun you think he is. I don't have that much fun with him anymore. But uh, a good Chen is, uh, is fearsome. Yeah, I'm gonna play Medivh now for a uh, Saiyan. But I don't think I need to pick fast. No one ever counters that anyway. Tremble before me. There we go, they got two parts of the component. Thrall's gone. Anytime you're ready. So you pretty much counter it by doing it yourself with some small changes. Actually, uh, yeah, Emerald Wind, Mighty Gust, and Force Wall to a degree can slow them down a bit. Uh, also, a lot of cleanse and shields can sometimes sustain through it. Like a lot of cleanse, like Karazim or Zarya with the cleansing shield. But for the most part, you gotta like delete some parts of the combo. You cannot give them, at least on Hero League, you can't give them Diablo, Thrall, Rhaegar, Rainer. Kirby, my fiance is gonna play HOTS for the first time ever. Which hero is the most beginner, girl player friendly? That would be Lily. And if she's played lots of other games, but not Heroes before, and she's pretty good, you know, with just mouse and keyboard playing games in general, Asmodan. Just have to remember to use General of Hell, like, what is it, 20? Every 20 or 30, every 30 seconds. I stand ready. Give her a nice Lord of Hell build. Throw down that crap. Let the games begin. So random. Fight time! 
Uh, I did. I played yesterday. Type racer, Pintili uh, Daniel. 134 words per minute. 100% accuracy. That's about my best. I can't do 140 or more. I think. I have a question. How many percent of core damage do you think a Falstad can do on level 20 on an empty core with full shield? Uh, okay, so a core, full HP, full shield, no minions for your side, and let's say none spawning for them because you're on the Phantom side, right? And you've got uh, static shield on four. I think Falstad can take off all the shields. It depends if he has Nexus Frenzy or Epic Mount. Let's say Epic Mount. Um, he's not going to have airy gusts. It depends if he rotates in and out. If he goes in, uses Q boomerang, static shield, stays for 4 seconds, the and then goes out. Let's the airy gust kick in, and then goes in with full cooldowns again. I think Falstad can take off about 60%. Maybe. Maybe do like 10% core damage. It depends, like, if he barrel rolls in every time and then walks out just out of range the gates shall it's gonna take a minute but he can do more seconds. but realistically he will take off the shields in a bit more i think five four three two one kill fight spread my spores now buddy's in some serious trouble we're gonna go stable portal Just in case. Let that be a lesson to you. Um, I got bird eye view. Now my power grows. This soak will miss it. Doesn't matter. Be gone. Time for some heroics. Almost. Maybe if I looked at myself when I went away. Your time grows short for the sake of our future. My 
destiny awaits. Go to Master's Touch. There is much at stake. Yes, I'll be level 10 Medivh after this game, that's true. So nice. I have the feeling it's not that good to get the plant at first night in garden. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. Also slightly because of misuse. But I do agree that 98 seeds might be better than actually getting it. Fate waits for none of us. At least you tried, friend. Yeah, I'm gonna go instant master skin, Medivh. Great shadow looms. Your time grows short. Any tips on who should get the plant and what to do when you're the plant? <coughs> I'll uh, I'll take the plant and I'll I'll show you. I'll show you and tell you. The night comes for none of us. Remember, kill the shambles and claim their There is much at stake. I think Leila and Seal is a pretty good counter to Bloodlust, but so can Polybomb be. The shamblers mm. rise. Slay them and gather the seeds. I'll get Polybomb. Oh, seeds. Now, let my terror I must fall back for now. Alright, so here's what to do when you take the plant, okay? My you take it. Waits. First you see if any of your allies are in position to take mercenary camps. We're doing the seeds, so the answer is no. If they're in position to do it, or are making inclinations to do it, let them take mercenary camp first, then capture. So you get split pressure. Use your sprint twice to get on the map and do not engage head on into people. Cast Sport Queen Curse, run away, and then say go for a bot. You pull them in, doesn't matter. You do not need to ever walk into people. Give a hit on every. Sport Queen Curse has very short cooldown, so definitely can use like this. Give a hit on every minion wave, you see? Try not to ever take free hits. I I know that my team is 4v3 down there, which generally means good things is gonna happen. Plant is now choosing to go attack, but I still got a bit of juice in me. Hit the minions. Uh, ideally, you kill... You, you die right as your timer runs out, so you got maximum efficiency. Your you get the uh, quickening, that's about it. So what value did we get? Well, we got a fort bottom, pretty much. Their Pelan did nothing. Well done. Your and that's pretty much it. 
And we got a team kill. We, get, we killed one person. Uh, generally, don't portal engage unless you know it's. You really know beyond the shadow of a doubt that it's a good idea. We could have also done a 5v5, but I think it would not be in our advantage. Not as much as this one was. <coughs> My destiny awaits. We can't engage here because we're up in level and the whole team is aware. Thank you, healer. I was a bit selfish uh, shielding myself over Rainer, but I have the Master's Touch. So it's much less okay for me to die. Night falls, heroes. How I love to see my garden in the moon's glow. Portal is useful. Yes. The garden terror and by useful, I meant not useful. It is time I return to our core. I see visions and nightmares. It is time to harvest. Bring my terror to life. Okay, always see a sprint right away when you come out. Everyone survives? Very good. Excellent. Oh, oh, nice. <gasps> oh. That's so fair smash. Uh, don't use your W on forts that are almost dead. Ignore towers. Go for the keep. Uh, if they are defending with melee. Use WQ at the same place so they can't uh, attack it easily. Uh, remember, don't walk into people willingly. And it's also okay to use it a bit for wave clear. Like this. And always try to use it to bait people into your team. Or just buy time for you to get the second plant. Uh, I'm gonna go for reabsorption. But only 22 seconds dies. left, not much else to do. 16 seconds. I have more life than I have timer right now. So I wanna not take too much damage. 6 seconds. Let's see where they are. They're going for Medivh. I mean, uh, for the Haka. No, it's three bot, two top. They're split. It's risky. You will not stand in my way. I need seven more stacks. I've taken the plan twice, that's why it's a bit slower. Done, heroes. Soon the garden terror will be yours to control. Of course. Uh, try not to play too risky. Admit it. You enjoy that. Now we can probably get a keep. Impressive. Well, he did lose salt. He's back. We do have a second plant, so no matter how this ends, I may not die. Because I've been the dedicated plant taker. You're holding back. I 
Thanks, Alpha. Better to be there. Uh, 38 seconds left on the blast. That one's pushing up daisies. Yeah, I'm just gonna take it just in case, you know. I will. What else could you possibly be doing? Awaken my terror. Defeat these mercenaries. Uh, also, what's good to know is you can take the plant in 2.2 seconds or something. So if you need to buy time to let the plant, uh, you know, just start channeling it two and a half seconds, and you'll be fine. Why do you build pressure point on Chen over a touch of honey? Yeah, 75% slow is actually a big deal. That's why. I mean, the apocalypse was gonna hurt, but not. It was not a game winning APOC. Oh, Diablo is going super hard. A worthy sacrifice. Yeah. I'm gonna go for Arcane Brilliance. It's okay if he hits me. As long as he doesn't hit. Oh, we want XP. I didn't complete Master's Touch, but that's because I take the plan three times. I could even say, like, don't take it, just because I'm going to be the dedicated plant taker. Alternatively, the Haka could have definitely taken it as well, considering his role. But it's better, actually, to have two points of pressure. One is the plant, the other is the Haka. And then we can have, like, really good split map pressure. And... Uh, I think it was safest for me to take it because I also wanted to explain to you guys how it works but I think I use it pretty okay uh, whereas uh, sometimes when others use it I think like ah did you really have to walk into three enemies and just stay there and just like take all the damages but yeah if you think you're not gonna be able to complete master's touch which is the best seven take arcane explosion the one where you W someone and as soon as it takes damage it does like two, three, four hundred damage to people nearby. Actually not bad. And there's Arcane Charge. 25% bonus damage on your next Q if your first one hit. That one is much better early game no matter what than Master's Touch. It just doesn't scale as crazily. And it keeps you from doing dumb stuff. Yeah, cool. Uh We got it. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Get him. Get him. <laughs> I knew it was. <laughs> oh, my God. Just run. You fools. <laughs> 